thing on. Hey YouTube, slash hey internet, video world, social media, wherever you are. This is Brandon. I'm from Engrave Co. and you are witnessing the birth of a YouTube channel. How often do you get to witness the birth of a YouTube channel? Never. Never. We are an engraving company. We are engraveco.com. As you can see, our engraving machine and our other engraving machine. We are going to engrave some crazy things. This channel will be things that we try to engrave and see if we can engrave them. Per your suggestions, per our ideas, whatever comes up. Today, with it being back to school, we're gonna try to engrave some back to school things. I'm off to Walmart right now to go uh, see what we can find and uh, see what we can engrave. Come on, let's go. The only problem with engraving apples is that it has to go on a rotary device because the engraving machine that we have, it's made to rotate to engrave wine glasses and bottles and things like that. So it can engrave round things like apples, but there's no device to make round things like apples. Hey Brent, how are you? Yeah, this is are. my friend Brent. Okay, good to see you. Ah, uh, school supplies. So we got a, a calculator, a pencil, some pencils, some apples. We're gonna see how they engrave. Okay, cool. Good to see you, Brent. There we are. Exactly. It's the point. So uh, we'll go back to the uh, old office. We'll see if we can stick these things uh, in a laser engraving machine and engrave them. To be continued. There it is, the engraving machine. So, a couple things to know about this engraving machine is we can do basically whatever we want. Um, we can engrave fonts, images, text, whatever, but we can also cut things. So depending on um, whatever we end up doing here with some of this, like pencils, we'll most likely just engrave some text. We can probably engrave a little something on the apple, maybe. Uh, we could also try to cut it. Uh, we've got our eraser, we can do whatever. I don't really know what we're gonna do with this, but we're gonna do something destructive, most likely, so. Anyways, just uh, maybe to give you an idea of how an engraving machine works, you can engrave like it does, it goes like this. It engraves back and forth and it makes a picture. Or it like, like cuts, so. Right, Jordan? Right. So, anyways, um, let me get some of this stuff set up and uh, we'll see what we can show you here in just a little bit. So, as I was trying to decide what I wanted to engrave, I remembered that uh, I uploaded uh, Miss Fairborn's first grade class, which includes yours truly. So in back to school fashion, uh, I'm gonna engrave a picture of Miss Fairborn on this eraser. All right, we've got uh, everything ready to go here. Let's show, I'll show you what we're gonna engrave. So that's old Miss Mathy. First grade teacher, she was my favorite. And uh, 
I've got this all ready to go up in here. We've got our camera set up. We've got, let's see if we can zoom in a little bit for you. There's the eraser. Uh, let's let her rip and see what happens here. Change some of the settings on the computer here. I'm gonna get a new eraser and re-engrave it. See if we can do that. The key to this engraving thing is testing and tweaking and getting those power settings right so it looks just awesome. Anyways, we've got another eraser here, so we'll give this one a shot. So I mentioned that the engraving machine can engrave, which is what we did here. So cool! You can see Miss Matthew's face on an eraser! Uh, but it, all, it can also cut. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can cut this eraser in two. Um, you just have to change some of the power settings and the speed and stuff. Anyways, uh, we're going to cut... Amazing. Uh, we're going to cut this, uh, this eraser. Wish me luck. All right, so we're gonna see if we can engrave a little smiley and then the red line here will cut, hopefully, it will uh, cut the, uh, the eraser out. So let's see what it does here. Didn't go through. Not, not super successful with the eraser cutting. When I was trying to decide what to engrave on the pencil, um, I wanted to do something that would help a student. I and mean, I thought, what's like a saying that has helped a student, me personally, or someone I know? And I thought, you know what? I know a saying that got my wife through college and it's C's get degrees. So we're gonna engrave that on this pencil. We'll see how it turns out. Then I also thought to see if we could maybe sharpen this pencil with the laser engraving machine. So we'll see if we can do that. All right, so another thing that I thought that might be worth maybe some explaining here, which maybe I'll do a video on this a little bit later. Uh, the laser has a focal point, so in order for a laser to be like pinpoint and accurate and sharp, um, the little black thing right there is a lens and this is a two inch lens. So basically from where the laser's reflected off of the laser beam that comes out that hole into here, it has to be two inches from this point to whatever you're being engraved. So we use this little tool here to uh, like calibrate the machine and to calibrate it, you either raise or lower or raise the table in order to get that in focus.
Would that get you through college, Jordy? Would that give you hope? It's getting me through college. That's sweet. All right, so now I'm gonna see if I can sharpen the pencil. Um, and basically to do that, I'm just gonna try to cut like a V and then turn it and then cut another V and then turn it if I need to and cut a V. We'll just cut it a couple times, see if we can get this pencil to write. Oh, you're riding with Ash. Let's get a piece of paper. Hey! <laughs> we successfully sharpened a pencil with a laser. I think it's mostly because it just burnt all the wood off but didn't burn the lens. <laughs> the lead on the inside of the pencil. Hey, we're calling that good. Uh, yeah, we're calling that good. That's totally a sharpened, writable, usable pencil. So we got our eraser, got our pencil. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to engrave the calculator. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see what we can come up with here. Maybe we'll engrave pi on there? Sure, why not? All right, so, Another thing maybe to mention about the engraving machine is that uh, when it engraves things, things have to be flat. So I had to prop the calculator because it's got the little bent display on there. calculator to get to the uh, electronics back there uh, and I'm just gonna try to engrave a square There it is. Uh, I was able to get the back off, um, but in the process, it actually cut the wire to the little solar panel up there. But surprisingly, the uh, the calculator still works. So, all right. So we've got our erasers. We did our pencil. We did something to the calculator. Uh, now we're going to do the apples. The exciting slash challenging thing about the apples is that we have to set it on this rotary device here um, and so I've got to turn the machine off install this and then I've got to figure out some way to get the apple on like a thing so that it will spin and rotate I mean I guess I could try to engrave it flat but I don't think that's quite as cool
shaved apple. So uh, now I'm curious. I don't want to eat my good apple because I think that's too pretty. Uh, curious how it tastes. Not bad. All right, well, that's it for this episode of Engrave This. Uh, hope you got something, hope you enjoyed it, hope you learned pie. Um, pie, pie, pie. Um, anyways, hope you enjoyed the channel. Uh, if you liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, follow us on YouTube, Facebook, uh, and we'll keep these videos coming hopefully every week or so, every couple of weeks. Um, like I said, feel free to leave us a suggestion if you want us to engrave something. Um, let us know. We'd love to, we love a challenge. Um, we love it when people call and say, hey, can you engrave a pair of shoes? We're like, sure, we'll engrave it. So anyways, let us know what you'd like to see us engrave, and we'll hope to see you on the next episode of Engrave This. Mm -hmm.